minus 30. T minus 20. Falcon 9 is secured. Flight pressures. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Stop. Back in line, stay the towers. GC moved to section 10.59 to secure the pad. Stage 1 propulsion is nominal. Falcon 9 is on its way to delivering the Dragon spacecraft to the International Space course, Station for you, its eighth US. commercial resupply services mission. We are about to cross through max Q. It's maximum aerodynamic pressure. It's one of the highest stress states on the rocket. Now keep in mind, you're looking at a 70 meter tall rocket about the equivalent of a 25-story building going to space. And that exhaust plume, it's about one and a half million pounds of thrust coming out the aft end of the first stage. You just heard them say that the MVAC chill has begun. That's where we've started to chill down our second stage engine, getting ready for ignition right after separation. First stage will continue to burn for about another 20 seconds, after which we will have main engine cutoff, or MECO. About three seconds after that, we will separate from our first stage, and then the second stage ignition will follow shortly thereafter. accelerating itself and the Dragon spacecraft into an orbit so it can catch up with the International Space Station. Yeah. So the shot that you see on your screen there, that is the second stage engine glowing beautifully, a golden orange there as it propels Dragon to the International Space Station. You can even see the, the coast of Florida just down on the yeah. bottom over there, right beyond the NASA. Yeah. So, One of my favorite shots. Now there's a lot coming up in just a little bit here. Uh, the cheering you're just hearing right now means the nose cone is separated successfully from the Dragon. This is the aerodynamic cover that sits on top of the Dragon yeah. to protect it from the wind as it launches. Uh, the higher up we get, the less we need it, and it just becomes extra weight, so we pop it off and we don't need it anymore. Exactly. So Dragon still has a long way to go, um, but what we're going to talk about right now is a little bit about the stage return. So you're actually going to be hearing the crowd cheering a little bit more. Yeah. Um, the, the first stage has a few different burn maneuvers to go through as it descends in the atmosphere through the atmosphere to get towards the drone ship. So the first burn is the boost back burn. That's just about to happen in a few minutes, in a few seconds here. The boost back burn is when the, um, the rocket turns around and kills off all its horizontal velocity, or enough just to make sure its trajectory lines up with where the drone ship is in the ocean. Exactly. And then the second burn that we'll be looking for is the re-entry burn. And that's exactly as it sounds. It's whenever we fire the engines to slow the rocket down enough so that it doesn't catch fire as it re-enters the atmosphere. So that you just probably heard, boost back. Stage one has just commenced. 
So that'll burn for just a few seconds, and we'll hear another call saying that the boost back burn is completed. Again, this is great news for the first stage landing. Um, the first stage doesn't have a heat shield like the Dragon, so it needs to slow down before it hits the atmosphere. Exactly. So the, the, uh, the fast uh, and hot atmospheric gases don't damage any of the engines so we can reuse it. Yep, and then the last burn that you'll hear us talk about is the landing burn. And if you've joined us on our previous webcasts, you're probably familiar with, we try to bring you footage, and so we hope to do that again live as everybody else sees it here as well. So stay tuned, a lot of fun stuff coming up. So far, this mission is proceeding completely nominally as of this moment. Second stage is continuing to power the Dragon spacecraft to an orbit of 300 kilometers by 260 kilometers. You're hearing everyone clap right now because the boost back burn has just completed. Uh, that meant that the first stage is on its way back to the drone ship. Of course, I still love you. About 300 kilometers off the coast of the, uh, of the, uh, of the Cape of Florida. 300 kilometers off the coast of Florida. Uh, coming up, we're gonna have an entry burn in about a minute or so, following by touchdown shortly after that, about two minutes. We're looking at touchdown around the eight minute, 15 second mark. Keep in mind that first stage was going 4,000 miles an hour or thereabouts. It was over 100 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. We had to negate all that velocity, bring it down into guided entry down on, of course, I still love you. It's a very challenging and difficult maneuver. It is an experimental mission for us, as always. But as of right now, everything is proceeding nominally with today's mission. Second stage continues to perform uh, uh, splendidly. 200,000 pounds of thrust, roughly. That's what you're seeing coming out of that engine nozzle right there with the red glowing uh, tip at the aft end there. Uh, so for this moment right now, uh, everything at Hawthorne and in Cape and in, in outer space certainly is proceeding uh, nominally, as we like to say at SpaceX. And so with that, let's check, take it back down to mission control with Tom and Kate for all the excitement. I'm gonna keep my eyes on the nets over here in case and make sure everything continues to go well uh, for today's mission. So we're just about to go into the re-entry burn of the, of the first stage. This is when the first stage slows itself down just before it hits the thick part of the atmosphere so it doesn't damage itself. So, now, go ahead. <laughs> so once the uh, re-entry burn is complete, then we wait for the uh, landing burn, and you'll actually be able to see the landing burn as it comes down. our first stage to come back down and land on. Of course, I still love you, located in the Atlantic Ocean. And we do hope to bring you video. Uh, now, it, there's a chance it may cut out, but we're pretty confident we'll be able to get some good video of the landing today. Now, uh, just to reiterate, um, even if it's not a completely successful landing, every little bit of data counts. This is an exactly. experiment. It's not related to the main uh, objective of today's mission, which is to get the Dragon to the International Space Station. Absolutely. So the data is the most important part about landing these uh, the first stages back on the drone ship. So like we said before, if it ends in a beautiful ball of fire on our platform, that is okay. We're still going to learn a lot from it. So keep standing by here. We'll get you some video stage really, really soon. Um, sounds like stage one is going through its transonic phase through the yeah. atmosphere. It means it's heading right down towards that yeah. drone ship. Uh, this, we're on track for hopefully a great landing right now. So right now, so, we've just got confirmation that the landing burn has started. Let's take a look at the drone ship now. So you're seeing live footage of Of Course I Still Love You, our drone ship, waiting for the, there's the engine. Slow it down, lights are deployed.
so. Now, mind you, uh, remember not to take away from the excitement at all. But there is a primary mission going on right now, which is take the Dragon to the International Space Station. This is fantastic yeah. news and everything, but um, we're coming up on second age, uh, second stage engine cutoff. successfully touched down sailing on the drone ship right there that is an amazing sight to see meanwhile we are in a good orbit dragon is in a good orbit getting ready for a deployment should have just happen hopefully we'll have some video footage for you in a few moments of uh, the dragon separating from the second stage uh, but right now keep your eye on that amazing shot of our of our first stage standing on the drone ship right now. Uh, solar rays for Dragon uh, successfully uh, deployed. A confirmation of that. Uh, solar rays should be uh, separating and deploying shortly thereafter, and we will have uh, the generating power in a few moments from there. Right now, it is extremely exciting. You can hear the, the cheering around here at SpaceX um, to see that footage of the drone ship with the first stage recovered. Uh, going forward, we are going to be securing that first stage on the drone ship, uh, doing some final checks and, and making sure that we are ready to bring that stage back to the port, uh, back in Florida. Uh, for now, uh, obviously it looks like it's, it's in good shape. Uh, we, we cannot totally assess the condition of the vehicle until we have our engineers uh, at the site looking at the specifics of the data. Uh, on the left side of the screen right there, you're looking at a camera image of the inside of Dragon solar ray fairings. That's actually the back side of our solar rays. Uh, in a few moments, you should see those solar rays deploy. Uh, you'll see them unfold like, a, like an accordion from the solar ray fairings. Uh, so we'll take a bit of a moment here and pause and, and let you watch the solar ray deployment from Dragon as we begin our mission to the National Space Station. Uh, if you keep following with us in the future too, we will be birthing with Dragon in a few days. And there goes those solar rays I mentioned, the, the wires uh, coming up the back side of the solar ray panels as we're unfolding. Um, now solar rays on Dragon, those are very important for us to deploy. They recharge Dragon a bit like our phone batteries uh, and they harvest the energy from the sun. Dragon has batteries on board. Uh, kind of like an electric car, but for a two-day mission to the space station, we need those solar rays to keep ourselves charged and ready to go. When those completely unfold, you'll see them lock out. They will start pointing to the sun, and we will begin our on-orbit operations. We are right now basically chasing the International Space Station, trying to catch up to it. And if everything goes according to plan, we will catch up to the space station Sunday morning, uh, 4 a.m. Pacific time and hopefully capturing with the Canada arm and berthing with the space station soon thereafter. But as of right now, we are on orbit and we have a first stage back on the drone ship. <laughs> 